Hey cat lovers, welcome back. As you can see from the title of the video, today's clip is for our new friends in the world of pet cat ownership. And if you're an experienced cat parent with one or more cats at home, you'll still find this video helpful for the future, especially if you're thinking of adding another cat to your family. We're going to talk about five things you shouldn't do when bringing a new cat home for the first time. First off, congrats on getting a cat. A lot of people, just like you, want to have a kitty, but their situations don't always allow it. Whether it's because their parents don't want a cat in the house or they just can't afford to take care of one properly. And if you're one of those who can't have a cat right now, don't worry too much about it. There are still things you can do, like leaving out some food scraps or a water bowl for the street cats. You'll see they'll appreciate it and will warm up to you. When you first bring a new cat home, they can be really scared. Getting close to them might just make them more frightened because cats don't like changes in their living spaces. A new home can make your new friend feel unsafe, and they might act aggressively, not because they're mean, but because they're scared. Often, new cats will hide under furniture or behind curtains. You can approach them when you see them starting to come out, but do it slowly. If they still seem scared, just back off and try again later. A lot of pets can act aggressively towards newcomers, so it's best not to leave the new cat alone with your existing pets right away. Make sure to supervise their first meeting closely and keep an eye on them until you're sure there won't be any problems. Even if the cat is hiding and doesn't want to come out, leave some food close to them and step away. It's a good idea to let them have the whole room to themselves. Once they feel it's safe, they'll come out to munch on some food. Your new cat might not be used to sleeping directly on the floor and letting them do so right away might make them sick. So it's best to put them in a room with some blankets or bedding they can curl up on. Over time, you'll see them choose their favorite spots to nap. Cats are naturally clean animals, so we don't recommend bathing them unless it's absolutely necessary. Don't bathe your new cat in the first few days after bringing them home because bathing can be a bit complicated and requires a lot of trust in your relationship with your pet, and since you're still in the early stages, it's better to wait until you bond more. Having a cat brings tons of benefits, like great companionship. You'll find your kitty by your side all the time, and they'll give you plenty of fun moments when you play together. But always remember these five tips and give your new pet some time before you can really enjoy their company. Today's topic was a request from one of our channel friends. If there's something you want us to talk about, just drop it in the comments. Take care, cat lovers, and see you in the next video, God willing.